So instead of going on a toy hunt this Saturday afternoon, this fine Saturday afternoon, I'd rather just um, play with the action figures that I already have on board. So personally, I already have purged my collection three times. And if I ever feel the urge once again, it's going to be the fourth time. But I realized that instead of finding always the latest and the greatest, there is always the ones that you already have on board. So let's talk about these guys. So if I'm just going to have two versions of the US agent character in action figure form, it's going to be this Two versions so we still have this on pegs and this still hasn't um, really gone into clearance and people are just waiting for this guy to go on clearance Pers me personally included so I want a second copy of this action figure which I could keep just in box but for something that I could play with I have this too so let's talk about the modifications or kit bash the little thing that I just did with these two action figure and what is the right amount of customization or kit bash that you could place on an action figure we're going to answer that in this video so there are two versions of this us agent action figure so the first version is the one that we are looking at right now so this is part of the marvel legends uh, falcon and the winter soldier wave so the second version is, I think, a Walmart exclusive, and I think that you could still get it at Amazon.com. Um, I've seen the price, and I'm still thinking of whether to get that guy or not. But with regards to having another um, so, um, figure of this configuration just in different color with additional accessories, I think I'm already good with this guy. Anyway, I already have spare accessories on board to accessorize or... Uh, really fill this up so what does this action figure need a shield and a gun so the pistol that came with this action figure was one that is just molded onto the thigh of the figure so it's just an easy fix so i just cut it off and placed one from my G.I. Joe Classified Series action figures. Anyway, I replaced the G.I. Joe Classified Series with Action Force Valiverse stuff. So I'm free with a lot of the uh, G.I. Joe Classified Series um, accessories, which we already have on this action figure. So it's just going to be easy, breezy for this guy. It's just going to be the shield, the one that is of the just the right um, amount of coverage not too big not too small and at least it complements the action figure when you place it on the action figure because i have several shields on board and somehow when you take um, one from the other place it on the action figure there is that thing that uh, this one does not fit on this action figure but with regards to this shield it really fits the figure Okay, so let's talk about the simple changes or modification that I did to this action figure. But first, um, let us do a quick 360 of the figure. So you have an idea as to the simple changes that I placed on this. So it came with this shield, but somehow the shield is just um, somewhat way too small for the action figure. It's going to fit a figure of this size so but actually this shield still is a little bit small for this us agent action figure so i did not put the shield on this figure so this shield is a traveling piece that i would um, match with other action figures that i have on board but right now it has found its home with this us agent action figure so the next thing that i replaced would be the handsets on the action figure so those are different handsets they don't belong basically to the action figure so i have this in my accessories bin so both of them are accessory holding hands and with regards to the color they match the um, rest of the uh, forearm glove set so it's good to go um, with regards to the um, right hand I just made a relief cut 
for the trigger finger so it could rest onto the trigger well of the 1911. So this US agent could really hold on to his weapon really well. So this pistol is from a Diamond Select John Wick action figure, which I have a spare of. So next thing was to put pouches just like a Captain America figure. I put pouches on the pistol belt because what's the pur uh, what's the purpose of have of wearing a very big pistol belt if it does not support anything? So put pouches on it, and we have a holster for the pistol. So nothing really fancy. That is ju that is just a plastic that I molded into a holster so it could hold on to the pistol that way so actually when you take a look at the front of the action figure if you don't want a uh, pistol that is on the thigh or on the hip so this looks very very clean this way so for action poses in your shelf so just that way nice and clean but with regards to this US agent it has to have a holster on the thigh because that is what he was shown with in the um, Disney Plus TV series. Okay, so very nice and simple modifications to the action figures that you already have on board. And instead of hunting for, once again, the latest and the greatest that Hasbro would um, promise to put on shelves and somehow the shelves are empty then just play with the ones that you already have on board so i beautify this action figure because i'm going to pair it with my ultimate steve rogers or captain america action figure so this figure did not come this way so there's a lot of changes that was put into this action figure, but it really not uh, the big changes that everybody would want or expect when you do a video. So just a little bit of changes just to make the figure more playable and more beautiful. So this is my style, just a little bit, not too much. Okay, so I already forgot from which year this action figure came because I already have this action figure for a very long time. So I just replaced the head unit on this action figure with the more current um, Steve Rogers head, the ultimate uh, Captain America. So um, as for the uh, pistol that came with this action figure, it had a molded pistol piece on the thigh. So somehow I did not want that piece, so I cut it off and replaced it with the Action Force Valover's um, pistol pouch and the holster that is on that pistol um, thigh rig is going to be a G.I. Joe classified series thing. <laughs> so modification of two companies, so Hasbro and Action Force Valover's, and that is a... Nothing really fancy, just a G.I. Joe classified series pistol. Anyway, that is just for show because this action figure does not come with an alternate handset that could grab on to a pistol. So this is just more for my personal thing that um, I know that the Captain America figure has a pistol to just like this guy. So... Um, all if you also have this action figure in, in your collection you would know that majority of the bling is going to be on the pistol belt so I cut off those um, pouches especially that bug was that was hanging on the uh, hip of the action figure connected to this pistol belt so that pistol belt I also uh, painted that silver and the rest of the stuff so the smoke grenades I transferred to the pistol belt I glued it to the pistol belt the knife that was already also hanging on this side I placed it on the back of the figure so with the other stuff 
so these two these actually three things this and this were hanging on this thigh, on this side i mean that's a lot of weight just for a pistol belt so anyway this guy has a hunting jacket on so we'd rather just have all of those accessories on the back of the figure so to simplify things and just for the thigh we have the whole uh, pistol and i replaced the shield on this action figure something that somehow would complement this action figure and i love this head unit with this figure build so a shield that somehow is uh, dirty and scuffed at so with a lot of battle wear and a figure that also looks very rugged and this is really nice to match with this us agent action figure so us agent versus captain america so for the more modern us agent that i have on board so i'm going to do a two action figure diorama so it's going to be us agent versus worthy captain america so each collector his or her own style of modification kit bash or customizing so this is my style just a little bit of tweaks here and there to make the figure more aesthetically pleasing so this is the stuff that i learned when i transitioned into one is to six scale um, customizing or action figures military action figures so that figure is my personal figure so the way that i would carry my gear so combination of pcc and a pistol so my personal gear and my personal figure so if you like this video like comment and subscribe to help me grow my channel and see you on the next action figure or custom action figure review